Hey everybody, welcome to my new YouTube channel series, Healthy Musicians. If you don't already know me, my name is Denise Natoli. I'm a singer, songwriter, and I'm a registered nurse from New York. In this YouTube channel series, you're going to get coaching on how to apply holistic health concepts into being a musician, into creating music. If this sounds cool to you, please click that subscribe button below. One thing I want to say before we begin is I am not licensed to prescribe and all of this information is coming from my personal experience and research. That being said, what does holistic even mean? This is a big buzzword and a lot of people when I mention it's something I'm interested in, they're like, well, can you explain that? Because I really don't even understand what it means. So holistic to me means the consideration of the whole being. So components of this would be physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual, and not necessarily in that order. Another important thing I want to mention is that you want to think about balance. You're thinking, how can I get all of these to be balanced within my experience? So we don't want to let one take over the other and we don't want to neglect anything, right? And I think that in society today and in our culture, we can neglect parts of our being. Maybe we don't like them. Maybe it makes us feel like, Mm, this is going to make me seem a certain way, but it's so important to consider all of these things because when we show up for our whole self and consider our whole being, that is going to make the most unique and creative music that we are capable of making. So hopefully you'll get some coaching on how to reach your fullest potential. So I figured on the first episode, we could go through a cover song I've been working on and kind of hit each component and give you guys examples of that. We're going to go through the song Finesse by Bruno Mars, one of my favorite artists. He's pretty incredible. I hope you enjoy. Let's get started. The first thing I would do when I start to cover a song is that I'm going to start thinking, all right, so what are the words? And let me listen to the song and really see if this song makes sense to me in my body. So right away, I'm thinking mental and I'm thinking physical. So I'm going to look up the words because I'm not great with words. I don't know about you guys. Lyrics always go better in my brain if I look them up and I can see them because I'm a very visual learner. So that's important too. You want to know what kind of learner are you? Some people can listen to the song and just learn it that way. I need to see the words. So we pull up the lyrics and I'm looking at them and I'm singing along with Bruno Mars. And I'm seeing, is this something I really want to sing? Does this fit well in my body? Maybe it's a little too high or maybe it's a little too low. And in that part, we would maybe change the key. So we'll get there soon. But just talking about words, we're looking at the words and for each song I kind of look and I try to make sense of it because that'll help you one, memorize, but two, convey the message. Like, music is just communication. So when you get on stage or even in front of a camera or even in front of a friend and you just want to communicate these lyrics, you have to actually believe what you're saying. So when I look at these words, they're pretty straightforward in this song, um, but the imagery is really beautiful in this song, even just dripping in finesse, like you know, like there's money, there's luxury, there's beauty, like you can see right away the message he's trying to convey. And then we can learn how to embody that message and that feeling. So another lyric that I just love in this song is in the second verse when he goes, now slow it down for me, baby. Cause I love the way it feels when we grind. Like that is hot. Now slow it down So that would be the mental component. The physical component, we're already kind of chatting about. You're thinking about how the song sounds in your body. So in the original key, I'll pull up my guitar. I look up the simplest chords that you could possibly imagine because I like to be able to focus on my vocals, but a lot of people want to also bring in the fanciest guitar stuff that they could possibly bring in. They want to make up their own unique backgrounds, and that's amazing too. For me, I like to focus on my vocals, and I like to add some cool stylistic stuff into either playing the instrument or the vocals or the combo of both. It's pretty cool though when I pick up a guitar all of a sudden I just get very creative when it comes to like covering music because now there's so much freedom. How am I going to strum? How how is my singing going to go along with this? 
do I so do I want to change the key of this song and it's so easy with a guitar you have a capo it's like your best friend so um C D and E minor are the chords in this song and then in the chorus we're gonna get a G at the end too but that's it so super simple so in the original key we're right here Ooh, don't we look good together? There's a reason why they watch all night long. Right, but maybe I feel like that's a little too up. So you could just move your capo up, a fret, another fret, whatever you want to do. Play around with it. Sing the whole song through in the new key because that's really going to help you say, okay, well, I'm singing like really high at the end here. So maybe when I'm bringing up the key, it's just a little too high. So for example, if I was here, Ooh, don't we look good together? There's a reason why they watch all night long. It sounds good there. It feels good there. But when I get to the end of the song and I'm singing the higher stuff, it's just a little too high. So I bring it back to the first fret, which is the original key that Bruno Mars sings it in. So something I wanna mention that I already just kind of said is it's important to consider, yeah, how does this sound? This sounds great in my voice, or this is a little too high, it sounds squeaky, but how does it actually feel in your body, in your voice? Um, it's really important to consider that. Am I straining? Does this hurt? That's something that's really very, very, very important. So if we're back in our original key, I'm thinking this makes sense because for me at the end, I do a fun little thing. Yeah, we got it going on, got it going on. Did it feel so good to be us? Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Oh, oh, for me I love it there and I don't need it to be any higher or lower it's a sweet spot for me so I'm pretty happy with the key I'm happy about how it feels in my body and in my voice so I'm ready to move on so we did mental we did physical and now let's hit emotional one of my favorite parts because I'm a very emotional person um so even if you're not though it's very important to always tune in to how you're feeling. Even when you go to pick up your guitar and sing a song one day, or even just like sit there and you're singing, you're like, wow, like this is just not sounding good. And you just feel really badly about yourself. Start to think like, well, is there something going on that like I've just been ignoring? Like, am I suppressing something right now in my experience that I could just shine some light on and really address? And then you can move on and you can heal from it. And it's something that I'm still working on. Like that is not an easy thing to do, but just start to think about it maybe when you start to practice your music. So the emotional component for this song, when you're thinking about a good example, I would say, what, so what is the vibe of this song? <laughs> vibe is such a, is such a millennial word. Like we throw it around like, yeah, man, like I just loved his vibe. Like meanwhile, people are like, what? But seriously, vibes are so important and like how we feel how the song is making us feel so that is the emotional component of this song so pretty much when i'm reading these words and i'm hearing bruno mars sing this song i'm like he feels so fine with his partner walking into whatever event he is showing up at and they feel like they're on fire they're passionate they're in love they're beautiful they are powerful they are strong like these are all of the words that come to mind when i hear the this song so when i sing the song i want to try to embody that energy and then bring my own flair to it so an interesting thing when we're talking about flair and style and i would still consider this like emotional would be maybe putting some style into your backgrounds and for me like it would be in the guitar and then that would kind of lead the vibe and the style of how I approach the vocals, right? So this is something I came up with, just like a fun little strum with a slap. And this feels very true to me. And that's a really important concept too when you're thinking emotional 
Are you trying to sound like somebody else? Or is this true to you? Does this make sense to you? So for me, I'm like, yes, this is my vibe. There's that word again. <laughs> so this is something that I just really love to do. I kind of slowed it down a little bit too, right? So we're thinking tempo and all of those things tie into our emotions because I want to feel laid back and chill. Ooh, don't we look good together? There's a reason why they watch all night long. So that's fun. I love singing that. Now for me, spiritual means connection. So you're going to figure out how you connect into this song, into these lyrics, this melody, this style that we just created, these emotions, like it is kind of the tying all together. A lot of the time, and it sounds silly, but it is so true when you're thinking with a holistic mindset, is if you put your mind to something and you're thinking, okay, I am going to feel spiritual right now. I'm going to tap into my spirit. It will come, it will come through. It will shine through. Same thing if you're thinking, well, what are my emotions right now? Like they will surface. So that's a really important concept too. So for this song, I'm thinking, when I'm thinking spiritual, I'm going to let myself feel these feelings that Bruno Mars is talking about in this song. Like you are strong, powerful. You've got somebody right next to you, making you feel even better. And that's a really, really beautiful thing. So when I'm singing this song, I'm considering all of those things. You know, you know. Now remember, this might seem like a lot and it kind of is a lot and that makes sense. These are just things to consider when you're sitting down to learn and practice a song. Then all of this stuff will get into your body, into your muscle memory, into your spirit and then you're just, you will shine from that practice. You will bring that forward when you sing to perform it or record a video because you were sitting and you were thinking about all the components of your whole being and how they can connect to a song and to this music. So that's a really beautiful thing. If you want to hear the whole cover of this song, please click that link at the end of the video. I think you'll like it. And if you liked any of this information that I'm kind of pushing forward at you, please click that subscribe button and comment below. I'd really appreciate it. And I'm super excited to be starting this series with you guys. All right, cool. Have a good day.